I must have just missed those guys to get that stuff. So, oh my god, can I... Can I be on that ledge? If I'm wrong, <laughs> if I'm wrong, we're going all the way down. Okay, here we go. Oh, yep, no problem. Welcome back, everybody, to 7 Days to Die of an Old Guy Gaming, and this is the Wasteland Survival Series, where we play this game on the same difficulty. The zombies are all set to nightmare speed, and we play on a map that's made up almost entirely of the wasteland biome generated by the Nitrogen World Generator. Okay, so in this episode, we are going to tackle Higashi. I've been wanting to do this, uh, you know, pretty much ever since we came to the Mega City. Now, uh, I've done the Higashi building many times in Alpha 16, a couple of times in Alpha 17. I honestly don't remember, though, if I've done it in Alpha 18. If I did, I did it on our multiplayer server, you know, when Alpha 18 came on, uh, first came out back in, in the fall. Uh, but I just don't remember if I have or not. Um, so... I'm kind of excited to do this because, you know, the building's going to be a little bit different uh, in Alpha 18 than it was in, you know, the previous version. So it should be pretty interesting. Uh, like all the other skyscrapers, this one's pretty much just as dangerous, if not, you know, more in some ways. Um, it is a, uh, you know, a pharmaceutical building, so there's a lot of medical stuff and, and, and whatnot in there. And a lot of... Uh, experiments gone wrong so to speak so it should be fun though so uh just like before guys we're going to use the same format as we've been doing with the tier fives all along uh, because of the fact that they are so long <clears throat> excuse me uh, we're going to time lapse the majority of this with minimal commentary on my part and um yeah uh, we're not going to double loot it either we could but we just don't need to because like i said we've got pretty much everything we could, we would ever want and then some in terms of loot now uh with where we're at incidentally i just wanted to look at something too we're, <laughs> we're over we're over 500 game stage oh my goodness 500 game stage we've killed almost 9,000 zombies um we've died 19 times in total in this whole playthrough which you know all things considered that's not too bad really uh, all right so uh i think that's about it without further ado let's do higashi Doggone it, like a numb nuts, I went and left my lockpicks back at home again. I'm not running all the way back there to get them, so we're, <laughs> we're going to do this the hard way again. Before we go up there, um, let's go look on the other side of the front end of the building. This is definitely different. Um, you know, old Higashi didn't have, to my recollection anyways, didn't have kind of this back area. It was all just open and there was more like, uh, you know, couches and stuff uh, for the Zekers to sit on. So this is new. I don't remember this this part, which is cool because here again, uh, you know, we'll, we'll have some new POI to explore, at least for me. Uh, so let's go see kind of what's in these rooms on this side. Alright, that does it for the first floor. Um, there was a way, you know, back in there that we could go. 
Um, but I'm just curious why we would go that way as opposed to just coming up the escalator here. So let's uh, see if we can figure out why we would do that. Maybe it's just an alternative way to get up here. All right, so that's the that's the spot that I thought we would we could get up here, but apparently we couldn't. We would just be able to get back down into there. So n that makes a little more sense now. I believe that covers floor two. Uh, so before we go uh, any further, let's go ahead and unload. And we'll then hit floor three. And we got the satchel. Boy, that was easy.
Am I really supposed to jump this gap and land on that ladder? It looks like that's what it wants me to do. I mean, we could always put frames and stuff down, but... Hmm. All right, here goes. Ah! <laughs> that didn't work. <laughs> Shit. Um, let's just uh, go from here. See, we got the same situation over here, though. How am I supposed to actually make that jump? Here, let's do this. Let's put some frames down below. And let's just try it again. I mean, I'm gonna... Uh, I don't see how I'm supposed to make a run, run at that. <laughs> oh, we did it. The other thing, too, I wonder if... We were supposed to just break that other locked door down to get into that side room. Because I don't know if it leads us back down there unless we go through... Oh, shit. Unless we go, go through the broken floor, which I think is in that next room over there. Maybe that's what's supposed to happen. I, you know, I like to try and follow the path that the, that the devs designed as much as possible. Off with his frickin' head. It's awesome. mistaken and I certainly could be this might be the room with the collapsing floor thing this building is a little bit different you know than what I'm used to so which is cool because it's kind of makes things new 
No, that's not collapsing. Okay, I must be thinking of a different room then. Let's just check it all the way down just to be sure. Okay, we've got some nastiness in this room. Um, and then those guys must just be dudes that came up from down below. Like a wandering horde or something. So I think what I want to do is see if we can find ourselves a choke point and just light up this whole room and just take them all out at once. I remember that hole in the stairwell for this floor. The question is, where do we have a good spot to hole up the choke point? Well, maybe we just take these guys out here. See, the other thing, too, is I remember doing this floor in reverse. Like, we came up through the hole in the stairwell and kind of went around this way, I think. Could be wrong about that. Either that or we just didn't do it in the right order. <laughs> I don't remember for sure. There used to be landmines over there, too, but there aren't anymore. That's interesting. All right, we got another level. So, let's see, we're gonna put that into, uh, what are we doing? We're working on strength, right? Yeah, we're working on strength. Uh, so let's get 69er all the way up to four. And then uh, we'll start working probably either on mother load or boomstick uh, for the next levels. Um, the other thing too is, I'm, I think I'm, I'm doing this the wrong way. They're in the wrong order. Um, and it is morning too. So let's go, let's bring this back up.
and we'll go with Lucky's, uh, or I'm sorry, Nerdy's, and we're also full too, so we need to, what I think I'm, I'm going to do is let's finish out this floor, and uh, then I'm going to go back down to the 4x4 four four and, you know, drop off our load here. Ooh, look at that. Uh, drop off our load here, and then um, I, I know there's an area on the, the third or fourth floor that I missed, so we'll, we'll go back through that way too. Uh, but let's see what's in these cases. Don't care about the crutch. Got hundreds, probably hundreds of pills, or close to a hundred pills back at the base. And I hardly ever take them anymore anyways, because we've got plenty of first aid bandages, and I've got healing factor four on top of all that, so it's just not really something we need anymore. Alright, so let's work our way back this direction. Um, we didn't look in that corner over there. That's how you get into that, um, you know, that uh, bulletproof glass that I had to break through to get to the pill case. Um, but we just did it the hard way. <laughs> not, a, not a big deal. Okay, so I think... No, you know what? I think we did do this in the right order. Yeah, we went up the elevator shaft because we jump out here and to get up to the next floor. So we did do this in the correct order. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. Let's jump back down into here. And we're going to go back down this way. And, um, you know, there's that area over there that we didn't do because the door was locked and I thought I wasn't supposed to go that way, but I think I was just supposed to break the door. So let's see here. You know what? I'm just going to run down uh, to the 4x and offload um, our stuff. And then I'll meet you back up there and we'll continue in that side room. Okay, so let's go check out this side room that we missed. Okay, so this is the door that we skipped and then we um, went up the elevator shaft because this door is locked. So let's let these yahoos break it down and then we'll take them out. And you know what? I'm actually not going to be stealthy through here. Let's just round them up and take them out. All right, yep, so it's just another office area. So I think what I'll do, guys, is I'm going to... Oh, I'll take that stuff. I'm going to wrench all the brass lamps and just, you know, do the loot, and then I'll meet you back up uh, in the stairwell where we would have come out of the fourth or fifth floor, whatever that floor is, and then we'll proceed from there. So I'll see you over there. Okay, guys, we are back. Um, uh, this is the end of the fourth floor where we jumped out into the stairwell. And so let's head on up to floor five. Wait, wait a minute. I missed huh? that. What? I missed that room, didn't I? Um, how in the hell did that happen? All right, you know what? I'm just gonna break through here rather than run all the way around. This is ten thousand, right? Oh no, it's only two thousand. There's some nastiness in there too. We're gonna. Oh, let's just put a wood frame down. We should be able to take them out pretty quickly. All 
Okay, I think we are now back on track here. Let's go up to floor five. <laughs> she did it again. That's so funny. They don't know where I'm at. How funny is that? Here we go. Lead is the new silver in the apocalypse. Find more lead and loot. All right. Not really interested in that, but will this get us uh, the max lucky looter? Nope. It still doesn't. Okay. So what do we have left in that? We have one more. Find more junk in loot. Junk one man's trash is another man's treasure. Find more junk in loot. Okay. So once we get that, then we have enemies have a higher chance to drop loot. Okay. That's pretty good. There used to be a dog that was sitting right here when you come up around this corner. Apparently they removed it. Or maybe it's up there. I thought it was right here on this platform though.
Okay, so it looks like they retained the <clears throat> secret hidden area where a survivor made their home for an indeterminate amount of time. Here, let's uh, take that. Yep, this looks pretty much like I remember it. Okay, we are on the sixth floor DNA testing. Almost there. In fact, I think this is the last floor before the, the roof. So we're getting there, guys. We're getting there. Get a penetrator action going here. Love it. Here we go, we found it guys. One man's trash is another man's treasure. Find more drunken loot. Okay, so basically that increases our um, chance for the, the Zeeks to drop the yellow loot bags, which is awesome. Okay, cool, so we've made pretty good progress. Uh, we still need Fireman's Almanac, Magnum Enforcer, Batter Up, Wasteland Treasures, Art of Mining, uh, Ranger's Guide to Archery, and uh, urban combat. And this is the one I really, really want because then our silencers, you know, uh, don't have the damage penalty. So hopefully we'll come across that at some, some point here. All right, let's uh, continue on. Oh, getting close, getting close. See, I'm not sure if this is the room with the collapsing floor either. Unless, you know, I wonder if they just removed that. Uh, from this POI. Hmm. Yeah, maybe they did. I don't know. Either that or we're going to fall through it here pretty soon. <laughs> and then we'll know where it is.
Okay, I think this place is gonna warrant a um, some blockage. That's just cloth, though. So we're gonna have to put um, some wood blocks down. Okay, let's make some noise. I guess we do have another floor. I thought I thought that was it. Okay, well, um, we are almost out of, well, we are out of space, so I'm probably gonna have to make another trip down to uh, the four by four. That's kind of a hairy, scary jump. Yowzers. <laughs> oh shit, buzzard. Didn't even see him there. Yeah, this is new. I don't think this was here in the earlier versions of this POI.
Okay, so we've come to the stairwell that leads up to the roof. I am curious, though, uh, what this ledge out here is supposed to be. So let's take a quick look at this, and I'm going to need to run back down to the uh, to the 4x and uh, offload stuff. That way, we won't have... Didn't I just kill him? That way we won't have to come back up here. Uh, again. I must have just missed those guys. To get that stuff. So, oh my god, can I... Can I be on that ledge? If I'm wrong... <laughs> if I'm wrong, we're going all the way down. Okay, here we go. Oh, yep, no problem. <laughs> So where does this lead? Hmm. Secret room. There's some lock picks. We're probably gonna need that for the end chest, so I don't wanna come back in here. What are we gonna give up? Doggone it, I don't wanna give up anything. Um, let's give up 20 things of cash. That's not that big of a deal. Okay, here we go. I got a, a rogue zombie somewhere breaking stuff, but I'm not sure where the hell he's at, so. All right, let's do this. Gotta watch out for buzzards, among other things. Okay, here's where all the nastiness is. So let's go ahead and soften all these guys up. Just make sure all these weapons are completely loaded here. I can do a chain reaction here. It's gonna be tough to do that without waking him up. Too bad it was a nighttime, then I'd be able to sneak in there better. You know what? The problem with this, those those grenades are gonna expire. Yeah, you know what? Screw it. Let's just do it. Okay, we have made it to the end. Let's uh, open up the uh, the crates first, and then we'll see what's inside of everything. And hopefully we can get it all in one trip. Well, I think we'll be able to. We could toss a couple things here if we, if we had to. Okay, so that takes care of those things. Now let's see what's in here. Yeah, okay. Nice mods, I guess. Now, uh, I've looted eight lockpicks, uh, just 
on the way up here, so hopefully that'll be enough to open this up and I don't have to bust it the hard way. Let's find out. Haha, <laughs> look at that. The first try. And there we have it. Okay, guys, uh, as usual, I will meet you back at the trader for the turn and then we'll wrap up this episode. Okay, so let's go in and see what the reward is first. Howdy, survivor. Now we're a steel sledgehammer for 997 coin and uh, 12,500 XP and 2,040 Dukes coins, just like we did before. That's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.